Oh, I guess our microphones are on, Alex. Oh, my. Hey. Uh, hello. Uh, hello, and uh, people of PAX, how are you? Good. And then, uh, hello, people of Twitch. Uh, my mom might be watching this, so hi, mom. Or, you know, more likely people hi. are just watching Twitch all day. Hello, hi, Mrs. Pat's Bear. Yeah. yeah, hi, Pat's mom. Uh, so this is 404 it, breaking down the internet. Uh, I'll explain a little bit about how the panel works in a moment, but first I'm going to uh, introduce uh, my special guest. My name is Pat Bear. Uh, I'm your host, uh, and these are my guests. We got uh, uh, Maya Kramer right here. Okay. Make noise, people, please. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Alex Navarro. And then uh, drinking his crush at the end is uh, Eric Pope. Hi. Yeah. Look at all these sincere pictures you used. Yeah, I, I went for smiles. Wow. Uh, Every uh, fucking like... picture that anyone has used for any <laughs> panel I've been on this entire trip, it's been that one. Yeah. I mean, it, it comes up pretty high on Google image search. So. <laughs> I don't know how to smile without looking like a sociopath. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just you're don't know how. You're also in some sort of moving comic book shop or something. <laughs> like, I don't know what that <laughs> background yeah, is. Yeah. It's a bad Oh, photo. the rotating Barnes and Noble. Yes. 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 <laughs> uh... Okay, so uh, this is 404 it. I've done this show uh, twice at uh, PAX East, my first time here in PAX Prime. It's also a monthly comedy show that I do in New York. Uh, and you might be asking yourself, 404 it, oh, what is this panel? So was, the, uh, to answer wait, your question. Was anyone actually asking themselves that question? Yeah. Didn't. All right, well, one, fine. One, couple hands Let's back. answer yeah. it anyway. I'm going to answer it anyway. We look at cool videos and photos. We talk over stuff. Uh, it, it's generally a positive and fun experience. <laughs> Sometimes it gets dark and weird, but those are moments, not the general whole thing. And we're going to swear. Uh, you know, there's not going to be any nudity in the videos or photos we're looking at. We try, I know. but sorry. Yeah, no, but uh, but there, there will be adult language because sometimes we get really excited about things and, you know, fuck is a great exclamation. Wow, to think. Yeah, Patrick, right? your mother. What? She's I'm watching. watching. She knows. She knows. I sorry, swear. Mrs. Bear. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm pretty sure she didn't figure out how Twitch works, but there's a chance she did, so Whoa. I don't know. Wow, sorry no, again. No, that, that is a dig on my mom. <laughs> that is not a dig on Twitch. That is a dig Son on my mom. Son of the year over here. Oh, oh, yeah, she's on Hitbox. Oh, we're oh, sorry, that was, oh, Pat's mom. Oh, okay. That's, All right, well, fine. All right, so... <laughs> well, fine. Fine, we're just going to move on. So uh, this show, um, uh, I bring some things uh, that I think it will be fun to talk about, and then I ask my guests to send me videos or photos, uh, and we're going to look at those, we're going to talk over them, uh, and we'll hopefully have a great time. Uh, so... Uh, I was here at PAX, and uh, you guys are obviously here or there, and you might be here tomorrow, uh, and there might be some things you want to check out that we saw. So uh, I just pulled some things in PAX Prime stuff. Um, first, we're going to talk about the games that I think are awesome, that you really should check out, uh, that I think are worth your time. Uh, so to go to the show floor tomorrow and really check these out, uh, we're going to start with uh, Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. Uh, that game yeah. is rad, straight up. If you go into the uh, Indie Mega Booth and you go to the Indie Tabletop Booth within the Indie Mega Booth, you'll find this uh, game. Uh, it's uh, two-player or more than two-player if you need to. One person holds an Oculus Rift uh, and uh, wears an Oculus Rift. You can see this photo here. And the other person has a really complicated manual about how to defuse a bomb. <laughs> Uh, and the person wearing the Oculus just sees the bomb. They don't see, like, the manual. So it's kind of like Space Team, only it's about one bomb, not, uh, and it's, it's really fun. It's really hard. Yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, hard. the easy makes you think like, oh, I got this, and the medium is, is, is really uh, murder. Now, when you played it, did you yeah. just have one person doing the instructions? I stuff? had one person doing the instructions. See, I think that was where we fucked up, is that we had three people trying to do the instruction <laughs> thing, and that did not go well. It's way yeah. more fun if you have three people, and right. like, I threw a party once where I had this game, and I accidentally, not accidentally, I slipped in multiple copies of the manual as well, and so people were reading off the same sheets, different things, simultaneously. It's like <laughs> total, utter other. mayhem, fantastic. So, the more people, the better. Yeah. What do is is there a name for this genre this like stressful game genre like papers please I love but it was super stressful and space team is stressful. hate party hate core yeah, yeah. yeah. hate party hate, hate party core. yeah stress core yeah stress core sounds good uh, this next game is not stressful at all uh, there's only one kiosk for it if you go to the uh, Xbox booth yeah. uh, you guys should play uh, IDARB uh, I drew a red box uh, so. IDARB is uh, a competitive, like, 
soccer-ish game, but it's not. It's all little uh, fun pixel. You can make your own characters in it. Uh, and they've, they've just basically, uh, a team, uh, Other Ocean, was just like, uh, hey, what game should we make? And people on Twitter sent ideas. And, then they, and now also, because uh, of Twitch, in Twitch chat, you can write certain commands, and then it will mess with the game. So you're playing, and, you're, and all of a sudden, the, the, everyone just turns into rockets and shoots out the top of the screen because someone put in the right command to do that. Yeah, it's pretty, um, like, if you, people watching the stream or tweeting about it, like, can affect your game in real time. Yeah, it's so you don't even have to crazy. be watching it. You can just uh, tweet the hashtag and yeah. mess up someone's game somewhere. Yeah. Sometimes a scary, a scary face will appear, mm -hmm. uh, just, like, flash in your face. Sometimes yeah. you all turn into clowns. <laughs> Why I, not? Just I, like real Twitter. Just I, like real soccer. Yeah, I played the game as a giant sword. Uh, on a pedestal, wow. and I was like, okay, well, it's a pretty great game. Uh, yeah, there's only one kiosk that you should try that. Also, only one kiosk for Gang Beasts uh, oh, yeah. in Double Fine. Uh, that's mm -hmm. one of the creators of Gang Beasts there. Uh, and they have an eight-player uh, version of it right now. Uh, I've only seen four before, and now it's up to eight players, and that's too many people. It's great. You played the eight-player version. Yeah, IDARB oh. is also eight players. Is it? I it did is. not know our yeah. was eight players. Yeah. Well, oh. well, some of us did our research and some of us didn't. That's fine. Uh, you played the eight-player Gang Beast, didn't you, Alex? I did. Uh, me and some of the guys from Giant Bomb played against the uh, developers of the game, and it is great. It yeah. is fantastic. It, I mean, that game is always a super hot mess, um, <laughs> and adding By more design. players makes it the hottest possible mess. Uh, and, you know, there's a deeply satisfying thing in just throwing someone into a giant grinder. Yeah. No matter yeah. what. That is oh, always yeah. fun. That's yeah, true. Yeah. Science fact. If you can uh, do it seven times, that's even better. If you head up to the sixth floor, uh, the other part of the expo, you'll see uh, some indie stuff. And uh, one of the things I think is pretty great about the state of the industry that we're in right now is that there are a lot of sequels to indie games. Like, not just that they're getting made, that people are, they're so successful that people are like, oh, we should make another one of those. So you can play, and we'll just r quickly run through uh, these. Uh, you can play Magicka 2 if you want. Uh, you can play Costume Quest 2. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can play Hotline Miami 2, mm -hmm. and you can play Dead Island 2, you know, mm -hmm. indie games. <laughs> I mean, there's also like three other Dead Island games you can play on the show floor, I guess. I don't think, I guess you can't play the MOBA, I'm sorry, two games. Uh, oh, and then uh, the last thing about the, this segment here, uh, one thing I like to do at PAX is I look for, not Nintendo, I look for third party uh, indie or otherwise that have a Wii Mote or uh, the uh, the tablet, people that are showing their games on a Wii, because I feel like they don't. People that are making those games don't come to PAX that often, and I found one. So if you want to uh, uh, play Sonic Boom, you, you can do it with uh, with a Wii Mote uh, right there. That's it. Just Sonic that's Boom. That's the single Wii game. That you that's play? a single Wii game that's not a Nintendo game. Wow. So who here wants to play Sonic Boom? Well, yeah, yeah, all right. Now you're okay. The Sonic thing I've also never died. I've also learned at PAX is that there are people that are super excited about Sonic games. There was a real long line for Sonic Four a couple years ago. Yeah. This uh, particular game had an incredibly long line, and it's like, okay, I, I guess it makes sense then. It starts to make sense when you realize that there are people that are into it. So speaking of Sonic and the, the, the theme of your panel, breaking down the internet, if you yeah. ever want a good, maybe the Aww. best internet rabbit hole, <laughs> go down the Sonic fan art rabbit hole. There is amazing. No. You can Especially do it the DeviantArt yeah. Deviant art corner. You can do that. an entire show based on Sonic uh, fan art. Now, I will say my, the subset of that that I enjoy the most is original characters. <laughs> People that draw their own original characters in the Sonic universe. Yep. Well, I mean, all you need to do is Google your name, the hedgehog. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you, yeah your name, the hedgehog, yeah. Is, is, yeah, that's it the way to go. My favorite subgenre is the romantic pregnancy aspect yeah. of it. Uh, There's where a lot of female pregnancy. characters are always pregnant, and right. one of the Sonic characters is like very lovingly like kissing the belly or whatever, and it is horrifying. Yeah. And there's always, like, the anime, like, tears, giant tears just flying yeah. off of them. I don't uh, know. There's also the, the subgenre uh, of religious Sonic fan art. Yes. Um, because, That's and, the and weirdest. My, my, well, my thought process is that these are kids that are very religious, and they're allowed to play some video games, but not all the video games. Yep. And maybe they're like, well, if it's 
if I make it religious, it makes it more okay that I like Sonic. That doesn't, look, but yes, you're right. Look, I mean, I'm just trying to be positive. Yeah. Yeah. Sonic okay. is just another in a line of like the classic Jesus character in yeah. your fiction. He's got to go fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah he, pro- he probably has died and come back. Oh. I mean, you know. like a lot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and, halos, you know, exactly. Where, where does Eggman fit into, like, biblical yeah. lore? Where does, where does Shadow fit in? Oh, I don't know. I mean, Knuckles betrays Knuckles. him, I and mean, that's clear. Yeah, right. yeah. That's, that's a different I'm panel move unpacking on the religious on themes joke. of Sonic. That'll be next year. Google uh, it afterwards is great. So I'm going to move on to our next segment. I had a segment for this show uh, all ready to go. All, all, I was very excited about it. But uh, as it, what often happens with these shows, sometimes uh, a story breaks during the week leading up to my show, and I have to be like, I need to talk about this now. I can't wait. So we'll go this just in. Um, so you may have read about this. It, it blew up a little bit this week. Uh, there's a series of commercials only online for uh, Pizza Hut in Japan. And we're going we're gonna to watch the big one here, and just so you guys get a sense of what's going on, Maya's up on speed. So happy this is new this. to me, so. Yeah, I've not oh, seen God. this. Check it out so far. Cool. Detch is not a name. It is now Detch. <laughs> so, so what? <laughs> Detch. Oh, that's, yeah. oh, that so, is magical. So suppose this. Suppose there's one Pizza Hut in Japan run exclusively by cats. <laughs> and then you made a bunch of videos about that and put them on the internet in Japan. So we'll, we'll look at a couple of these. They're all pretty short and pretty great. <laughs> Same. Well, that's classic Dutch. <laughs> uh, that's, all that, that's all that was. They were just like, you know what people want to see? These cats dressed up like they work at a Pizza Hut. <laughs> we don't need to do much more than that. And then they did. They did more than that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Pizza Cat Report. Yep. 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 That's it. Don't worry, there's more. This is a tease. This is a this image is a tease though. <laughs> I don't like the way he's straddling that scene. No. Cats don't do that. So here's something I have to point out, guys. There's a bunch of these. We're going to look, uh, I think, one more after this. Um, there's no pizza in any of these videos. Yeah, <laughs> there is no pizza. There, there's an oven with, like, a fake thing in front of it to look like there's fire going on. There's no pizza in these pizza commercials. It's just like, you guys like cats here. Yep. Don't pizza talk cat. about the pizza. Have you ever seen a Pizza Hut pizza? What? They're better off. Yeah, I mean... Look at this. Yeah. This is the best one. <laughs> this ad agency understands the internet pretty well. They get it. They know what people like. It is not cheap to get a cat to ride on a Roomba, by the way. No. <laughs> that is not something just every cat does. No. Yeah. They had to pick the right cat, and they were like, we can't use this cat for anything else. Yeah. He that's, only sits on a Roomba. That's exactly right. Look, that fire thing is the closest thing to pizza there is in any of these commercials. That fake oven display. Are cat hats a thing? Because he's wearing a cool cat hat, and I would buy that for my cats. If there is a clothing item in the world, there is a cat version gotta of it. There's got to be. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. So that, that's something that, like, this week I was like, oh, yeah, I have to talk about this on this show. Oh, yeah. I, can't, yeah. not, I can't wait until my next show to talk about it. No, I'm glad we did. Um, Ditch. I know, right? Where did they get that name? I don't know. Ditch. It's Ditch. probably a it's real fun topic. to say. It's I plan on naming my firstborn that now. <laughs> <laughs> Shenmue yeah. 2, The Adventures of Ditch. Yeah. So, uh... <laughs> I already I made that. 
Yeah. Shenmue 3, The Adventures of... <laughs> okay, there we go. Ditch. I don't play those shitty games. I mean, <laughs> if Shenmue 3 was just Sorry, a guys, cat pizza hut... Down. I mean, if it was just a cat pizza hut, I'd play Shenmue 3. If that was the simulator, you yep. work at a pizza hut with sure. cats. Yeah. Yeah. Domino's ha- kind of has the market cornered on pizza simulators. Yeah, they're they're, they're you order a pizza it. on Domino's online. Play, it's amazing. I played just the Roomba game. Yeah, cat riding a Roomba. Yep, Roomba yeah. cat. Shenmue Four, Roomba. <laughs> Roomba cat. Roomba cat. Uh, so we'll go to our, our last segment that I've prepared before we get to our guest segment. Uh, it's called Games Remixed and Repurposed. Uh, I found some weird things. Some people have done some fun edits of games uh, and game footage, and there's always fun. And I thought, I'm going to share those with people. This first one takes a little while. It's a good laugh, and then it takes a little second before it gets good, so we'll talk about it while it happens. Uh, but here we go. You'll be pretty pleased with what's happened. Just goes through every Batman single. Yeah. yeah. What to do about yeah. nothing? Why yeah. what? There are a surprising number of movies They're I've never really seen. Yeah, I, some of these I'm like, nope. Multiplicity. Yeah. Inventing the average. <laughs> Turkey wow. Brown. I don't know. Desperate measures. Oh, wow. I would say I'm crazy. This is way better Jack than I have to A shot of glory. <laughs> nope. A Mark Knopfler soundtrack. <laughs> Wait, no yep. Kirby, fully loaded. Oh my god. Oh god. Jesus. Yeah, it's cars. The last time. I don't know. Never what that is. What the that hell looks is like direct to video. That looks direct to video. Also, what happened to Brendan Fraser's eyes and I don't know. <laughs> those, those, yeah. So that was just. I have to imagine that it was an in joke that became video. Right. Uh, yeah, and that's the website if you want to know more about them. Uh, this next one uh, takes some classic footage uh, and reuses it, I think, very smartly. USA. Some of you may have seen this before. Round one, fight! Oh, Benny. Punch those cars. Oh Perfect. What is he even you doing? Win. Look, I don't begin no. to know what the no, parts I of... No, I do. Church looks awesome. Round one. Fight. Shinku. Hadouken. Yeah. Hadouken. Round two. Fight. You win. I hope everybody's dizzy. Yep, that's a sad fact. USA. I don't know. I don't. I don't know why that happened. Why do they deck each other in these churches? I, I don't know. 
I don't know. God. God. Is the eye bleeding? Wow. No. 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 Time over. You lose. Island. This that is, my, that was my yeah, we're going to watch most of this Round video. We're not going to see the whole damn thing, but we're going to watch most of it because it's pretty great. Tiger! Yeah. Tiger! Whoa! Yeah, I don't know. Tiger for cut! I get, it's laying of hands, I think. I don't know. It, Tiger! Well, that, that lady did not help well. I don't know. Island. Round one. Fight. Mm -hmm. Psycho Crusher. <laughs> uh, as you might be able to that tell, we good. were waiting for that one. Oh, that yeah, that was the one good. I knew we had to Fight. get that to. That was the good one right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Psycho Crusher. Yeah. It is genuinely pretty you impressive win. to be able to channel God through your blazer. Yeah. 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 Like, that's good. That is a yeah. good-ass blazer. Yeah. 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 Wow. How All about? right, okay. Uh, this last video uh, is a, is a uh, game edit. Uh, the particular person who does this does a lot of these things. Uh, I like to think he just takes two great things and just puts them together, makes it something even better. Uh, I'm sure you'll all agree with me when I say that nothing could be better than the following video. That's right, it's Luigi in Sonic Generations. This Luigi act, everyone's favorite Sonic game with Luigi. I'm so fucking angry at you right now. Yep. <laughs> Luigi's gotta go fast. You're taking something that's beautiful and pure in the form of Luigi and just yeah. ruining it. <laughs> just top to bottom. Now, the only way to make this video better if that was Waluigi. That would be, that would take it right over the top as far as I'm concerned. Depressing. What? It's not depressing. This is the best, guys. This it's, is depressing. I mean, it's all the good parts of Sonic without Sonic. Uh, like... You're the worst. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if, if Yoshi... Yeah, all right, I'll take it. Okay, yeah, if this was Yoshi... Running real fast, collecting rings. I'd be super into it as well. It's really bad. Yeah, but um, I will say it's pretty well done. Sure. I mean. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Sure. That's not the point. Yes, it? it's a well-made nightmare. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it hurts me effectively. Yes. Yeah. Look, he's flying now. Pat, like this is flying. worse than most of the videos I've shown. What? No, that is not true. <laughs> I'm actually kind of with Pope on this one. <laughs> what? I watched Look. the weird one with the Russian people throwing babies around, and this they is actually worse. They were not throwing babies. They were they were not throwing them. They were balancing them strangely. Uh, we're gonna move involved. on. We're gonna move on. All right. That's part of the show where I uh, uh, my guests send me emails of, of videos and stuff they want to talk about. We kind of figured out categories for each video. Um, just you know, trying to figure that out there. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna start with Maya. Uh, Maya, I like to title our, our segment here like "Out of Context J Japanese." Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the what the fuck? Japan? Yeah, yeah. What the fuck, Japan? Yeah. Because without the con without the proper context, uh, these videos are really fucking weird. Yeah, yeah. Basically, because we are culturally ignorant, mm -hmm. they yeah. are hilarious. It's yeah. mostly on us. Yeah, it's yeah, our it's, fault. It is on us. It's for sure yeah. on us. Although, uh, we'll watch. We'll watch. Yeah. yeah. So let's watch this first one. Uh, Right. Maya, you tell them us, because I know, what do you think this is? Okay. So, I think maybe they're buying a home. <laughs> maybe. And this dog is going to give them a really, really good mortgage rate. And those guys on the ground, we're going to give them a not-so-good mortgage rate. And this dog is going to... This dog saves them! <laughs> yeah. Saves them with the power of guru 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 guru. <laughs> are, are the women in the sailor suits supposed to be like real estate witches? Like yeah, what, yeah, so what is so that? Right, right. So, so my theory is that, uh, we might have to watch it again, um, but 
but my yeah, theory but. is that like there's all these people, right? And she's saying goodbye to them. That's my favorite. Oh, They're real so sad. Oh, uh, maybe they represent like renting. So she's uh, moving from renting to owning a home. Uh, this is uh, this is part of a series of commercials that started uh, airing in 2007 in Japan for SoftBank. Uh, this is the Shirato family. Uh, and that dog is the father of the family. What? That is the father and Excuse husband me? of the family. Everyone else is normal, but there's also a dog, and they never explain what? it. What? And it's part of a oh, series of you're commercials. Being culturally ignorant. So, so what's the me. eagle? That's on me. I don't know what the eagle. I think the eagle is just America. helping them. Kudos, kudos to Japan for making the most diverse family I've ever seen. Oh, it's pretty diverse, yeah. It was a pretty diverse family. I mean, the dog, dog is the, the dad. The dog is the dad. That's pretty diverse. Yeah, yeah Shirato yeah. family. And it became, like, kind of this, like, big deal. Like, the, the commercials get very good ratings. Like, when they introduce a new commercial, it does very well but, for a number of years. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think, guru, 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 yeah. is, like, a great I mean, way yeah. to propel yourself through the air by your tail <laughs> while yeah. being carried by an eagle inside a home. So, it's pretty good. Sorry. Well, Apologize. I apologize. All right. Um, this next one, I think you guys have watched this video. I'm pretty sure. I'm okay. sorry. I'm showing you Hold this. On. Where does it hurt? Ah, uh, my stomach. Ah, uh, I have a bad case of diarrhea. Oh. Stuck the landing. It gets better. I have a bad case of diarrhea. I have a bad case of diarrhea. <laughs> Learning is fun. Learning is fun. I have a bad case what? of diarrhea. I have a bad case of okay, so, diarrhea. So basically it's the most exercise simultaneously, right? I mean, yeah. It's a useful thing to know if you're traveling and you get diarrhea. Is how to say <laughs> and look fit while saying it. I have bad case of diarrhea. This is one of those internet videos that when you see it, you're like, oh, I saw this like in like 2001 or whatever. But every couple of years it becomes like viral again. So the, my favorite part about this video is, is not actually just this video. It's that the context is that there's a whole series of them and they go through everything from like dating tips. Like they teach you how to how to ask someone if they're taken and then tell them they have lovely eyes and then <laughs> and then ch like toast them and stuff. Uh, but they also teach you how to like deal with the fact that you got robbed. So there's one where she's like, Ooh. I was robbed by two men. And it's like, it's, it's, it's <laughs> But the thing is like the song, it's useful, wow. it's useful, like I, they, I, don't I, I bet you remember, you're like, wait, what was the beat for what I need to say? Yeah. And then you'd be able to say it. Yeah. You'd like start doing the hand motions. And you're like, oh wait, I have diarrhea. It's, it's <laughs> <laughs> why, am I, why am I making hand motions? I'm really hurt right now. I think for me, it's the guy's voice when he's repeating it before they do the exercise. He's like, I have a bad case yeah. of diarrhea. Yeah. Like, Let me call man. you an ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, we'll look at our last video for you. Uh... Oh, right. This looks like Fantasia. <laughs> children here exactly <laughs> that is just so strong so, maya yes what do you think that anime is about um well okay because it's anime and i have very limited knowledge of anime mm -hmm. i assume it's about a bunch of magical teenagers in high school 
Oh, that's, that's that pretty cool. That seems reasonable. So I'm going to butcher this, so I apologize. Uh, okay. Dai Maho uh, Toge is the name of this anime. It is a comedy, manga, and uh, OVA uh, parody of Magical Girl series. Right, so you so it, it is comedy on purpose. Okay. And so most of the comedy is parodying that. And uh, there's like a magical princess girl that ends up in a... Re she, for some reason, has to finish high school in Japan, like... <laughs> Regular, quote unquote, regular Japan. Uh, so weird because she's magical. Weird magic stuff happens all the time. Like right. the vegetables become alive and make themselves into curry to help her pass cooking class. Well, they're they're just the strongest vegetables I've ever known. Yeah, I feel like I have a real connection with that, them. And I that big eyed salute that the potato does as he turns. <laughs> it's it's just it is pretty. It's yeah, pretty it's, great. It's the onions crying. That so <laughs> in context, these things make more sense. They're right. still w weird, but they make a bit more sense in context. And I feel, I feel like, again, like I suppose my view on, on a lot of these things that I don't understand, like the potato peeling himself yeah. is a reference to something cultural. Yeah. That, yeah. But I just, I just don't relate to that, right? Yeah. So to me, the potato just decided to peel himself, and it's... it's I don't, it's it's this hilarious. Is, he made the ultimate sacrifice. Right, and it's it's a potato, and then, and then they say like your eyes are gone, and that's that's pretty funny. I bet there are a lot of cultures that don't understand like the Old Spice commercials. I don't understand the Old Spice commercials. Yeah, I don't understand I'm trying them to think either. of just a weird American yeah. thing. But I'm Canadian, like so a weird I mean, American like commercial that like other people would be like without context they'd just be like I don't I don't know what's happening. For most furniture commercials. Oh yeah yeah they're yeah. They're always yeah. like local commercials. Commercials like where like the nonsense. couches start talking. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, because they're lazy boys and like America's the mouths weird. open a little bit because they want to tell you about savings. <laughs> Maya, Maya, there that. is a furniture store oh, this is no bird a lie. Uh, there's a furniture store near where we live uh, that inside it has animatronic people. No. And a, uh, a gymnastic swing. No, and, no, I don't like that. I don't like. I don't that's like super that. creepy. Why? And an IMAX theater. Bring Inside your Inside the furniture. To get to the IMAX theater, they make you walk through all the the furniture store uh, and, what are you and gonna animatronics. Do? Buy, a, buy a lazy boy and take yes. him to the movie with you, or that like... is their entire business model. <laughs> this is insane. why I left Massachusetts. I mean, bring your kids. Anyone I ever guess. been to Jordan's IMAX? No? I know you have. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. One guy. That guy knows what's one up. Guy. That guy Good. Knows what's guy knows Local reference hit one guy. Because they're a furniture <laughs> store, their, their movie seats are actually very comfortable. And they're called butt rumblers. Because okay. they rumble your butt. This has been Massachusetts Fact Hour. You guys right? should all come I mean, up to Pax Yeah, come actually, on. We're, we're, not, we're definitely not done promoting Massachusetts stuff okay. here. So. <laughs> okay. That okay. might have to be a segment at Pax East, which is like Pope's Boston Corner. Sure. Yeah, all right. Well, I'm just planning my next panel. Great. All right, we're going to move on. Uh, we're going to check in uh, with my friend and yours, Alex Navarro. Hello, Hi. Alex. Hi. Uh, so we'll look at that photo again because mm. it's just a great photo. I, mm. It feels like it's a one step away from like your grade school photos where there were like, lasers in the background. Oh, yeah. it's like yeah. try on, the, on the right, it's like trying to What's be What's the source of this photo? So the source of this photo is when we were purchased by uh, the good people at CBS... Uh, we had to take promotional photos, <laughs> and everyone. In As the, you do when every, you run a video game website. Everyone in the San Francisco office got to do theirs all together. Whatever. I had to go into the New York office to do mine. Uh, I was paired up with a woman who, uh, her job there. I'm not really sure what it was, but she had a side business where she did wedding photography. So they said you should take this picture of this person, and they did not tell her at all who I am or what was going on. <laughs> So I went in there, and she's like, yeah, so I guess I'm supposed to take your picture for something. Uh, and then she's like, all right, we'll just stand against that thing. Took two shots, and she's like, all right, we're done. I think I've known you for about seven years and never once seen you actually make that face or smile. Well, the first time I, I didn't show my teeth, and she's like, you're not smiling. <laughs> uh, and so that was my sort of half scared, like, oh, okay. And she's like, that was good enough. So. Yeah. <laughs> Hence too again, bad. why I look like a sociopath. It's too bad she didn't like really do the research. She could have had like Pac Man in the background or something, you know? Something like video yeah, games. Yeah, a really fun. good timely reference to yeah. video games. It would make it a I lot like, more fun and frivolous. What I you like know? to imagine a wedding photographer knows about video games. That's just me. Yeah. You know. I, I definitely got the impression it was a very much like, this isn't my real job kind yeah. of thing. So I was just sort of like impeding on her I time. Hate, yeah, like I hate when they ask me to do this. Yeah. Yeah, that kind of thing. 
And then, you know, that photo has unfortunately stuck around for several years well, now. Well, somebody so. put it on the internet, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sorry. Fuck I'm not the internet. Yeah, I'm not sorry. Yeah. I mean, we're celebrating it, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, Alex, yes. so uh, you sent me a bunch of videos, and we, we culled them down into, like, two categories that I think, like, pretty much are, are like Alex Navarro. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to look at uh, uh, some video game stuff, mm -hmm. and then we're going to look at some wrestling stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, you may or may not be aware, I am the uh, world heavyweight champion of the entire video game industry. So, sure. yes. Yeah. Reigning champion. Reigning champion. Defended today. Reigning defended, defending. Yeah, yeah, defended his title just this morning. Anyone I beat there? Greg Miller in three minutes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. A lot of you came out. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Greg Miller, not very good at wrestling. Or wrestling games. He's really good at talking about wrestling, yeah. not so much actually playing the games or knowing anything. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah, he's a fantastic heel. I mean... Of course, we're all doing a pretty We're pretty much all heels in that league, yeah. which yeah. is super weird. Yep. But, eh. Pretty much. Everyone but Trin. Anyway, so I have no idea what order you've put these in. So Okay, uh, so here's the first one. Uh, this is a commercial. Uh, ah, yes. Uh, and it's made the rounds on the internet a little bit, but, uh, but it's, it's just joyful. It's, it's my favorite video game commercial ever. I'm sure everyone here has seen it at oh, least yeah. once, but if you've seen it, there's no reason you shouldn't want to see it again. Yeah, here we go. Costumes that have skeleton in the front and the back. Yeah. That is a great a piece of detail. Legit. Like that is legit great. It's about on par with Bat Dance. Yeah. It's, it's in the same vicinity, yeah. Yeah, I just I love everything about this, from the sick dance moves to the, the bizarre rap lyrics to the gender bending link, just everything about it is awesome. Yeah. And then everyone dances. And yeah, the fist, oh, the fists so at good. the end. Yeah. So this needs to be in in Dance Central. Yeah. Whatever the fuck Dance Central oh, yeah, you're making right. now. It sure does. And please buy and please buy Zelda for Super Famicom. Please. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Nothing says Zelda like coordinated dance moves. Yeah. Yeah. That is just a beautiful piece of commercial making right there. So. Yeah. See, and I think what's great about that is that crosses cultural boundaries because. That was as awesome in Japan as it was in America yeah. in 1992 or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Universally awesome. Yeah. yeah. And it's not a rap, which was most of video game commercials. Well, that was definitely a lot of rapping. Know, okay. a a lot of rapping. Know, it's not focusing on the rapping. It's no, 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 it's kind of in the background, but yeah. yes. Yeah. You Hip hop. Know. Pretty sure the moves were coordinated to the rap, but. Okay, some wrong. What does the rap? What does the rap say? I don't actually. I did. Dedu 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 there's definitely did it, did it, isn't there? Is it, is All right, let's look at this. I probably just did something racist. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alex, give me a little background on this video. Okay, so, so we talk over it. There is this thing in Boston called Trash Night. Trash Night! Uh, they do uh, bad movie nights, and in between the bad movies, they show these uh, interstitial videos uh, cut together out of various other things. This is a bad things. man. David White is a bad man. So this is an interstitial they, they edited together out of like this 45-minute game tips and tricks video. Succeed in Data East, latest action adventure, bad dudes. You must learn how to defeat the bosses at the end of each level. Use these techniques for best results. And I kind of Use picked this because wear him down. in very much a, a sort of like, as much as things have changed Turn over the years, things are kind of the same, the aren't they? Yeah, this is giant bomb right here. Yeah, this is, this is YouTube content right here, more or less. But this, this is the thing they sold as a VHS. Some game players are persistent enough to, when they first get a game, to sit down maybe for two or three days not playing the game, just trying to work on codes, just trying to find the secrets into the programmers. <laughs> Checks out. What? Checks Look, I don't. All new wrestling what? Fans, yeah. WrestleMania from Acclaim lets you relive all of the bone-crunching holds of top WWF stars like Andre the Giant and Hulk Hogan. <laughs> yep. Like, if these guys were around and doing <laughs> this today, they also, would murder a total biscuit. I, just I, absolutely. I love that that's the footage for the game that you yep. picked. They're like, just guys running around. That's pretty much the only footage from that game that exists. That game is terrible. Code will be invisible 
Oh look, here's a code you wouldn't ever want to use. It, it makes the map garbage in Rambo. When appears, keep pushing up until you talk to him. Switch to the also, not even attempting to make it seem like he's talking while no. playing no. is just a static shot Get of him. Power password, exclamation point, small x, small k. No, so you would like read it out. you would have to pause the VCR and write that down because this had to be on VHS. And it's just a, up, let's up, okay. E C P I small q. Oh God. Eight, Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my Ready to do battle with the final guys. You want to fly that spaceship. You know, you, you want to save the galaxy. You don't want to, you know, just have to use your imagination in the video game. I feel you. Uh, yeah, so they, they, they find this stuff. They are yeah, that's trash night. fantastic uh, yeah. film yeah. editors. As you, yeah, as I say, you might have noticed there's some, some creative editing going on there. So yeah. That's, that's sort of the thing that Trash Night gets. And if I had tried to show any one cl like clip from the whole 45-minute video, it would not have registered yeah. as well. So, how sick were those custom jackets? I want yeah. those. Are good. Those. Like right away, I, I just there's just something about David White that I was not on board with. Oh, yeah, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, you could tell. The kid, I'm like, yeah, you be in video game. Like those guys now run Game code. Informer. That, yeah, that David White guy looks like he played video games so he could be around kids in yep. a real weird way. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> You know, like in a way that your parents wouldn't approve of. So, that guy yeah. always has quarters. He always yeah. has quarters. Ooh. Yeah, no, you want to come to the arcade, Ooh. hang out with yeah. me for a little bit, then you can <laughs> go back to my van? Yeah. yeah. But that kid. No, that kid is awesome. You know what? I'm just psyched for him. He got a cool, he got paid, uh, a sense, uh, uh, I assume, he got something in order to like talk about video games <laughs> on VHS tapes. You want to fly that spaceship, man. <laughs> yeah, you want to. You want Gotta to use your imagination in video games. Save the world, man. But yeah, the more things change, the more they stay the same, Alex. That's basically, yeah. If you want to be good at bad dudes, you got to learn to fight the bosses. <laughs> yeah. That's his big pro tip. You mm -hmm. know, learn about the boss fights. All right, so that was video games. That was video games. Now we're getting into wrestling. Yeah, we got two wrestling videos. This first one. Uh, I'm I back to Japan. You know what? Honestly. Oh, nice. I feel like you don't have to know anything. I think you could hate wrestling. You could, oh, yeah. in your soul, despise wrestling and still find joy in this video. It transcends. And I've built it up, but I don't think I've built it up even enough. <laughs> yeah. That's a nine-year-old kid in a comedy That wrestling. child is nine years old, and he is working as a professional wrestler in Japan. Yeah. Shining wizard right there. And then I love this clip because why did they put that in there? That's the only thing about the video that I think doesn't fit is the he can't stop a bike. Oh, that's such a good gag. Oh. I don't know what child labor laws are like in Japan. But I have some concerns about You shouldn't about be able this. to do that. You shouldn't be able to do that. You no. shouldn't be able to go, hey. Yep. Arm bar. It's a sick arm bar. Yeah. And that, that, wow. Like that that's rolling a, pin is, that's good. That's a great roll up. Yeah, so wrestling in Japan is super fucking weird. Yeah. Uh, I mean, wrestling is, yeah. Especially like the indie leagues there, they get real weird. And the, funny, the amazing thing is he's not the only kid <laughs> who does this. There is a nine-year-old girl named Haruka who also yeah. does the exact same thing. And yeah. she is equally badass. Yeah, that's They're, awesome. She's in a match uh, with a gentleman, and he's not taking it seriously. And then she puts up a couple good moves. And then he just, he like really tosses her into the ropes. And then I was like, nope. Done. Can't, yeah, I can't. It gets, it gets a little rough. It gets too real. That's why I picked this one instead yeah. of the other one because the other yeah. one gets a little dark. Yeah, in a way that I wasn't right. comfortable presenting. Look, so you know, there's no way you would know this unless you're really into stuff. But uh, I, I work for uh, and produce a comedy wrestling league in New York, uh, 
And that little kid walking under the double clothesline, I'm so mad I never thought of that. <laughs> yeah. Like a clothesline you're too short to get hit by yeah. is so funny. It, <laughs> it, it makes me a little mad. It's that kind of a funny thing uh, where you're like, no, ah, it's so good. And then he's like, you know, th you've seen that in wrestling before, probably. Like, they're like, oh, he, he missed the roll. Oh, he thought he was going to go that way. And then he just gets hit in the back of the head. I'm like, that's classic wrestling. But that clothesline duck. Yeah. Not I mean, a duck. Walk under. And yep. he walks like this. Very confidently. It's a jaunty, like, strut. I know this isn't going to hurt me at all. It's great. Uh, this next video, Alex, I did try to do the research, and I don't know what's happening in it, but it's it's wrestling. Uh, let, me, let me set this up for a second here before, before we play it. Uh, so in the early 90s, the world heavyweight champion of WWF was the Ultimate Warrior, uh, who is no longer with us. Uh, but as part of their promotional thing, uh, someone thought it would be a great idea for this Phil Collins special that they were airing <laughs> around that time that they should get the Ultimate Warrior <laughs> to do a segment with Phil Collins. And the part, this clip does not have the opening to this where Gilbert Gottfried and Vanessa Williams playing television executives suggest this idea because it is insufferable. Uh, but the segment that comes after it is just about the goddamn weirdest thing I've ever seen in wrestling. So let's yeah. have a look at this. Okay. Whoa. So yeah, so we got Phil Collins, kind of in a wrestling outfit. <laughs> Uh, that's the Ultimate this is Warrior. the song Two of Hearts. <laughs> the Ultimate Warrior. Now, professional wrestlers have incredible in ring ability. Certain amount of coordination, the yeah. The Ultimate Warrior does not have any rhythm, apparently, and it's very weird. And then I don't know why he's attacking Phil Collins. What? I is, mean, he's mad that he's been shown up as a dancer, and but he's, he's the, just had enough. He's the champion. Yes. And so we're supposing that he's the good guy in this, but he's just beating up Phil Collins. And Phil Ooh. Collins is intent on continuing his lip sync throughout this. <laughs> yeah, Phil Collins well, is- Phil Collins is a goddamn professional, that's yeah. why. So the way I found out about this video was when around this time when this came out, uh, I had a subscription to WWF Magazine because yeah. I was an idiot child. <laughs> um, and they had a huge photo spread with this and it was, I didn't, my tiny child brain did not know what to make of any of this. Because I love Phil Collins, let me tell you. But this did not make any sense to me whatsoever. <laughs> but that's what I'm trying to say. Like, Phil Collins is, like, at this point, particularly likable. Yeah. Ultimate Warrior is a face. He's the champion. He's a good guy. Uh, but I feel like that was the thing in every piece of, like, non-wrestling media that wrestlers appeared in. It didn't matter if they were a good guy or not. If the, the person from the sitcom or the musician or whatever was in the ring with them, they were always there to get their ass kicked. Yep. Just yep. brutally. Right. Yeah, I don't know. Right. I also feel like this video is showcasing how uh, boring and bad a wrestler the Ultimate Warrior was. Yeah. He was not a very and I guess good wrestler. And eventually it was a dream sequence because they yes. threw this <laughs> bubble fade. Like Phil Collins imagined <laughs> okay. getting beat and up. And it just cuts to concert footage of the same song. So. <laughs> yes, but mine. whose dream sequence was it? Yeah, that's a great question. Mine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the part of the video that didn't make any sense to me. Like, obviously none of it makes any sense because <laughs> yeah. when I think of the rock and roll connection, I think about like... Cindy Lauper, like mm -hmm. I think about, like you know, like there, there were, there was an era. Liberace. Where, yeah, <laughs> right, well, there, of course, there was an era. I felt like where, like MTV was like wrestling is cool, and everyone knows, well, oh, okay, great. Uh, but I don't think Phil Collins. When I think of that, how did uh, they, how did they actually pitch this to Phil Collins in real life? I bet it was his idea. I, like, I, I bet you. He, he thought he Hulk Hogan playing. was still the champion. He thought he was getting Hulk Hogan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm just imagining they presented him with a plate of cocaine, and then just sort of like, all right, cool, yeah, all right. Allegedly. Yes, alleged. Right. Alleged plate of cocaine. Uh, that fucking outfit he's wearing, though. I know, yeah. I, I just, it's the, the... You can tell Phil Collins thinks he's the funniest motherfucker. Like, I'm going to wear this goofy outfit. I mean, he's the funny it. one in Genesis, if that's something. I don't know if that's true. I feel like Peter Gabriel I think is Peter funnier. Gabriel I think Peter like Gabriel is way funnier. Okay, name another member of Genesis right. besides those two. Mike. The, the other guy. The guys that made up Mike and the Mechanics were from Genesis. So All right, there was fine. A sure, Mike, I I'll guess. give it to you. Yeah. Let's Good. pretend Mike played the drums. It looks like, like the wrestling equivalent of like a 60s TV Batman villain. <laughs> like, it's just such a bad outfit. Yeah. Yeah, it's and great. I love it. I think it's a great freeze frame. Yeah. All right, so we're going to pull into the station here uh, with our last uh, segment uh, with Mr. 
Eric Pope. Uh, Eric, I, I love this photo, and I asked yeah. if I could use it, and you said yes, and I was really glad. How dare you, you being a dad? How dare you humanize me? <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Eric has a kid. Little preamble here. I'm going to apologize. So I feel like I set a bar in my previous two appearances on this panel that I don't think I'm going to meet today. Yeah, uh, I, that's on I, purpose. Uh, yeah, no, not, a, not I, from lack I of trying. Yeah, I would have preferred that today's content be as disturbing and upsetting as previous, uh, previous shows, but I've been just been a little too busy to really deliver the goods. I finally found one that I thought would top the show off, and Pat was like, nah, <laughs> no. So, I'm, not, I'm not adding that to the list. So I did so, meet the deadline. I had a super disturbing one, too, and he still wouldn't do it either. Yeah, yeah, no, Pat is sort of a taskmaster. Sorry, mm -hmm. Mrs. Bear. Look, uh, at PAX East, somebody who had been to the show previously uh, was like, you, tra you traumatized my sister-in-law. And I was like, oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, Look, if and you then can't handle a little humanimal in your life. Before oh, I came in I here, I know you. Right? Before, before I still I, don't understand how you showed all those humanimal videos and you never showed the one with him as the horse set to goodbye horses. <laughs> like, that's the humanimal video. We all have our favorite humanimal video. I had to show Obviously. the one where he doesn't know how to use a sword properly, and it, it makes me mad. Anyway, Is that look, what was traumatizing? A they didn't gentleman sword, outside. Right? said, came, came up to me as I was waiting to come in here and was like, I need to send you a list of fucked up videos that my friends and I watch. And I was like, oh no, that's what people think this show is. <laughs> and it's fine. I do like stuff that is weird. I like uh -huh. stuff that is strange. But also, it's not all that. So, yeah. Eric, this is way too much of a preamble. <laughs> Eric and I put together some fun videos. This first one, you probably saw, it got pretty popular. Yeah. I think it's sad, but also I think that these, guys, these kids handle themselves pretty well. It's just uh, the perfect case study for comic timing. Yeah, so you may, you may have seen this video. Oh, right. This is definitely a talent show. Yeah, it's like a middle school talent show. First I wanna say before it kicks off, I like that kids still like Weezer yeah. and good Weezer. Yeah. I would bet they learned this song from uh, Rock Band. Yeah, that's you totally would. possible. You would bet that. I would bet that. What kind of parent buys their child an electric drum set? <laughs> it's one that likes pretty portable. In their home. And monsters. And... Oh. <laughs> oh! The timing is so good. What do we do? His, his, and then... His arms <laughs> oh, just no. They're, they're thinking, should we fix it? Should we go? And then someone yes. in the crowd, yep. somebody in the crowd yep. goes, we should clap. That's right. We better clap. First rock and roll smashed keyboard. Yep. Fun, <laughs> good fun save. enough, good that's enough the, joke, that's guy. That's the cool teacher at yeah. school. That's a good enough joke. But yeah, I like the person <laughs> in the audience is just like, we should clap. Yep. A good try. I don't know. You, you got to cover up for him. Yeah. Also, look, I don't know about a keyboard in that song. I don't know about oh, yeah. if oh, yeah. he was Still also that there. kid was holding a microphone in one hand yeah. and then playing one handed when he started singing. And I don't know why there's not like get that kid a, a mic stand. Yeah, and I, don't, sure. I mean, also don't use a tiny. Uh, keyboard stand for a large keyboard. Yeah. I mean, there just, are many solutions to this problem. Yeah. Yes. yeah, I don't think the kid needs to be berated by you, Pat. What? Look, <laughs> you I'm send only them a offering letter. solutions. Okay. <laughs> next video, please. All right, next video. What the fuck? Okay, this is the best motherfucking oh, no. guy on the internet. Yeah. Some. Okay. A couple people know about this one. Fueled by beast blood. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? No, wait. Fueled by beast blood. Oh, that fucking man, that pissed me off. You <laughs> wait. There's a really good metaphor for American culture in here. <laughs> oh. he's gonna, he's Just good. an angry white guy trying to destroy trees. Like, that is... He's gonna yeah, get it. you're right. Fueled he's, by he, beef blood. He's gonna yeah. get it. He's gonna get it. Don't I mean, worry. Okay, so what is beef blood, and how does it fuel you? The, look, that's the only time you mentioned beef blood. <laughs> that's what I fucking do to campers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so he's going to say camping and no, campers yeah, he's, a lot. He's he's a, huh? a gamer. <laughs> so the rest of his videos are like. That's what I'm talking about. That's how it's done in the real world by a dog. I'm tired. Yep. Of shit. Oh man. Oh, uh, this is hold on, this one's really good. Yeah, this is my favorite. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
Son of a bitch. I says. feel like this guy listens to it. <laughs> Let it go, man. Let it go. So he is only he is only taking down dead trees. <laughs> so it's just. Oh. Bye bye. Yep. About all with football days down in the Cleveland San Angeles. You gonna <laughs> camp, huh, son? You gonna camp, huh? I need subtitles. <laughs> Yeah, so these trees are camping, yeah. uh, and they shouldn't be camping. So yeah, I guess he's like a big Call of Duty guy. Yeah. I don't know if anyone knows him. He's oh, camping like in video yeah. games. Yeah, yeah. No, he That's, hates It took camping. me a long time to think about that, because at first I was like, trees are oh, campers, dude. This feels like a dude who was like a pretty decent defensive lineman in college that just didn't get drafted, <laughs> and this is how he vents yeah. over the failed state of his life. Well, never. Yeah, you were a little tougher than normal once, but I ain't stopping. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's not stopping. Yeah, he's no, nothing will stop it. If it takes a couple tries, he'll do it. Right, do do you think the you. trees talk back to him? <laughs> like in his head? <laughs> nope. I love that. Oh! Like, oh, no yeah. We doubted. We should never have doubted. He, he ran away so fast in that one. I get the impression he only knocks over dead trees. Like That's trees it. that are already dead inside. So, oh. you know, he's not that bad a guy. Yeah. No, I don't think he's a bad guy. I just he's just he's clearing weird trees. Back. <laughs> oh, you see that? Did you see that? You see the damage I did to that? One shot, one kill right there. What? Yeah. You see, didn't knock the tree then that's over. Where, that's, where I, that's where he loses me. Like, yeah. up at that point, I was like, yeah, man, take out those dead trees. Although a three shot burst. What? It still hit the target dead on. What? Yeah, that, like I said, he lost me when he started talking about murder. This, again, I think he's, he's, uh, his other videos on his channel are mostly like Call of Duty things. Yeah. And this video, more than any other marketing... Step your game up. Get better. <laughs> get run over. Well, has made just, me want to play Call of Duty. It's, yeah, so, that, that was just inspirational, really. It, yeah. yeah, it's sort of motivational. <laughs> I Activision bet, should oh, hire nice. this guy. I bet this guy's fans are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Like the people who follow him on YouTube and are like, yeah, dude! <laughs> oh! Yep. Yeah, and that was the one we were waiting for. Uh, there's more, and I don't that care. Guy, we'll watch we gotta, it. We gotta get, move into the next Just clip. So, yeah. I don't want to give any context to this next clip except to say Nothing. this is also from uh, my friends at Trash Night Video. Yeah. Uh, and it's uh, real weird. Wait, does he get wet? Wait, I need to know. We're, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go to Trash Night right after this one. We'll, right. we'll jump to the next video. Does he get wet? Does he get wet? Because this makes me happy. Oh, it doesn't get the wet. Come on. He is real quiet, and I love it. Why is he so quiet? Why? What is Water confuses him. El Bistador. <laughs> yeah, El Bistador. I don't know what El, I don't know what that meant. I don't know what El Bistador is. All right. Yeah. Po oh no. This was a trash night oh, no. video. So this is where I'm saying, guys. Yeah. Uh, let's turn the volume up. On this, this is one. still gonna be weird, okay? This video is weird. I don't know what you're talking about, Poe. The installation process. What? First, remove all props such as. Choo Choo's tree, no. Billy Bob's lamp, no. Billy Bob's campfire, <laughs> all rocks and flowers, and destroy all of these props as they will not be used again. Now remove all cosmetics from the characters starting with Duke. First his hat, then belt, collar, and vest, so black vinyl torso, hair, gloves, cuffs, you know and drumsticks. Let it go, First, do his jacket. It's the monotone Hand. nature of the listing of things that gets me <laughs> when the visuals. It's not the robot faces. It's like, come on, man. This is weird. They acknowledge that this is weird. Monotone voice. The upper body fur. Hands. It's the music for me. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the music is also music. real bad. What do you think the Leg musician bird. who made this looks like? <laughs> he looks like that robot. Yeah. And then the tree stump base. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, gotta get rid of that tree now stump. Now Mitzi. Starting with her sweater. This, like is a, this is a converted... Wait a minute. Yeah, I know. Oh, no. I know. Wait, wait what? what? Right. Why does she... What? Was it... Ears, not the ear levers. 
Yeah. Uh, the system you... enhances oh, no, the illusion no, no. that I am a real person. Yeah. Next will be Billy Bob. First ah! of overall. Look, people Man. buy these people buy these animatronics and reprogram them to do other Body things. Bird. This is a video that's like how to convert one Hands. thing to another they thing. They don't need First an explanation, Pat. Do with what? They don't need the explanation. They need a little bit of context, Pope, so they don't cry. Desperate. Okay. The context isn't so making it better, Pat. Eyes. Look, we only have two minutes left blue. in this panel. Yeah. The Invest. full video is going to be uploaded sure. to my website. Wait, the end is the best no, part. No, it's not. Pat. It's not the best part. Pat. It's not the best part. It's not the best part. We got to move on. Travesty collusion. All right, Eric Pope, we move on. All well, my that video, was a bust. All these videos are available on, on our website, uh, 404.com. It's a Tumblr. Uh, all this week, I'm going to post videos. Each day, I'll post other ones so you'll be able to see them. So check out that site. We're, we're run, uh, short on time, so I want to get to this. Uh, Maya. Oh, right. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Uh, so I wanted to mention uh, a, a, a T-shirt that people can purchase. Yeah. Uh, uh, this, the, the screenshot was taken earlier this week. I'm sure you sold more shirts by now. But I this is uh, Cuties Killing Video Games, the shirt. Um, yeah, the story being that um, basically uh, my whole life or my entire career in the games industry, I've been accused of doing wrong in video games just by making games or supporting games that aren't just Call of Duty. Um, so, and my friends make games that are called walking simulators or, you know, um, not games. And eventually I got really sick of hearing that. And so I thought, let's own it. Let's, let's, let's make games that are beautiful and aren't Call of Duty. That'll be a really good thing. And uh, I thought, oh, I'll just start a t-shirt campaign. I, you can see I was like, oh, goal of 30, because this is funny. Cuties killing video games. And then suddenly, like, 250 people bought my shirt. Um, so the proceeds are going towards some, some cool stuff. Like, I, I do a, <clears throat> a program where I feed a bunch of indie devs at conventions like this. I, give them, I deliver them lunch and that kind of thing. So the proceeds are uh, going yeah. towards that. Because yeah. we yeah, need to lunch. Eat. Cool. Yeah, lunch. Lunch is good. Yeah. One of the best So it's meals. a good cause, and, yeah. then when, and then when people ask, what does your shirt mean, you just be like, some people don't like all kinds of games. Yeah, it's an all-inclusive, and I was going to make it at first like women killing video games, because it was like a bunch of women talking about how we get accused of killing video games just for being women in the industry. And then I was like, no, I'm going to be all-inclusive here. We're all cuties. We're all cuties. Yeah, sure. Yeah. You're all cuties. There you yeah. go. Especially Alex. Uh, I'm going to jump. Uh, Pope, Pope yeah. you have a video game. Yeah, uh, we just announced a game this week. I'd like you to go and pre-order it on Steam right now. It's called The City Sleeps. Uh, I put postcards on some of your seats. Uh, yeah, it's uh, a shoot 'em up, and it's musical, and it's not the normal thing that Harmonix does. Uh, and it's on Steam for PC or Mac. Go get it. CitySleeps.com. Uh, Alex, you uh, write about you know, sometimes write stuff, but also shoot videos about video games. You're on Giant the East Coast. Giantbomb.com. Uh, GB East is your. Uh, I've never heard of it. Yeah. yeah, we're not very good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. gamebomb.ru. Don't don't go Our there. Our new Russian overlords. Uh, so we, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, like I said, 44.com is my website. Go to that. You'll be see all these videos. Uh, on Friday of this coming week, I'm going to post some videos that I didn't think were right for this show that they submitted. I like to do that so you can see that I was right. <laughs> or, or you'll love it, whatever. Uh, anyway, I always like to close one show, well, one image that I think you'll enjoy. This made me happy. This was at uh, San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, that's just uh, Lou Frigno and Mark Ruffalo <laughs> met and posed for a photo, and that makes me really fucking happy for that's some reason. I don't know. That's it. Thanks, guys.